making faceless YouTube videos is one of the easiest ways to create content, especially for beginners. It's a great opportunity to earn a substantial income without having to worry about buying camera equipment or appearing confident on camera. Thanks to AI tools, starting a faceless YouTube channel has become even easier. In this video, I'll guide you through the entire process of creating professional YouTube content, step by step. We'll be using the Veed Video Editor to edit a faceless YouTube video from start to finish. This is what we'll be expecting at the end. The seeds of AI were sown long before its term became a ubiquitous part of our vocabulary today. In the depths of history, where wires tangled and algorithms awaited discovery, a revolution was brewing. It was in the mid-20th century that the foundations were laid as pioneers forged a path toward the future. Among these luminaries was Grace Hopper, a true visionary whose brilliance surpassed the confines of her time. Hopper's journey began during the turbulence of World War II when she served in the U.S. Navy. In the midst of the war effort, she became one of the first programmers of the Harvard Mark. So, I created this script and edited the video using Veed. Now, let's talk about how to plan an engaging faceless YouTube video. First, you need to come up with a video idea. Next, write a script or guide for your video. After you have your script ready, it's time to make a voiceover using your natural voice or with an AI voiceover. Once you have your voiceover recorded, it's time to edit the video. This is where tools like Veed come in handy. You can easily cut, trim, and enhance your footage to create a polished final product. Lastly, don't forget about the post-upload activities like description, tags, and thumbnails. Humans have always been captivated by stories, and that's why documentary channels thrive on YouTube. I've looked at some outstanding YouTube channels in this niche, like Magnates Media, James Janney, Wendover Productions, Jake Tran, Cold Fusion, and Barely Sociable. These channels excel at telling stories about remarkable events, governments, companies, and individuals. Now, I'm going to leverage the ChatGPT3 and VDAI video editor to create my own documentary style video. Let's get started with step number one, which is finding a documentary video idea. For this task, I turned to ChatGPT3. This is the chat thread I used. I needed an idea that's currently trending, appeals to tech-inclined people, and is related to business and money. After giving it some thought, I decided to create a video documentary about the history of AI and its foreigners. To narrow down the specifics, I asked ChatGPT for help with generating 10 interesting and unique video topics. I wanted to explore the first set of companies and little-known individuals who sparked the AI revolution in the 20th century. With ChatGPT's assistance, I got 10 interesting video topics. I reviewed each one and chose to go with the story of Grace Hopper and early machine learning. To create the script, I collaborated with ChatGPT, refining my prompts until I achieved a result that I deemed acceptable. I personally vetted the script and made some improvements, finally rewriting it into my own version. Once I had the final script in my notepad, I was ready for the next step in this process. Let's head over to Veed. It's a fantastic all-in-one video editor that also harnesses the power of AI. You'll find that the Veed platform covers almost everything you need for creating captivating YouTube videos and engaging social media content. On the Veed website, you have the option to start with a pre-made template or begin with a blank project, allowing you to edit your video from scratch. They offer a wide range of pre-made templates and assets. For my project, I'm going to start with a blank slate. I'll simply click on the Create button to kick off a new project. I'll make all the necessary settings and customizations to suit my needs. Then, I'll be redirected to my project dashboard, where I can dive into the process of editing my video. On the left-hand side of this editing interface, you'll find some important tools that are essential for your editing. Let's start with the settings tool, which allows you to make various adjustments to your video project. You can change the background color, resize and orient your video, and even manage the length of both your audio and video tracks. Next, we have the media tool. With this tool, you can easily upload your own media files, such as images, videos, and audio clips. Additionally, you have the option to record your own voiceover or generate speech from text using AI. If you're in need of stock videos or photos, you can find them in this section as well. The Favorites tool is a handy feature, especially if you frequently use specific media assets. By marking your favorite items, you can access them quickly in your editing process. Moving on to the Audio tool, it serves multiple purposes. You can upload audio files, record voiceovers using your microphone, 
and even create text-to-speech voiceovers. Furthermore, you'll find a vast collection of stock music clips and sound effects in this section to enhance your videos. If you need to add subtitles to your video, the Subtitles tool is here to assist you. It provides the option to automatically transcribe speech to text or manually create subtitles. The Text tool is another feature that allows you to incorporate dynamic text motion graphics into your video editing projects. You can fully customize the text templates and apply them to your project. We have the Elements tool which offers a variety of eye-catching motion graphics and fully customizable animations that you can apply to your editing projects. It's a great way to add some visual flair to your videos. I'll be showing you how to use Veed to create professional YouTube content. First, I'll demonstrate how to convert any script into a voiceover using Veed's AI text-to-speech tool. The voiceover will serve as the foundation upon which I'll build and synchronize all the elements of my video. Simply head over to the Media tool. Here, you'll find a text box where you can paste your script. Just below that, you'll see options to select the language and an AI voice profile from a list of available voices. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I'll go ahead and choose this specific voice profile. Once I've copied my script, I'll paste it into the text box. If necessary, I can make any corrections or edits before proceeding. Then, with a click on the Generate button, Veed will create the audio file for me. After a few seconds, the audio file will appear on the timeline. Hopper, a true visionary whose brilliance surpassed the confines of her time. Hopper's journey began during the turbulence of World War II when she served in the U.S. Navy. If there are any sections of the audio that aren't necessary for my video, I can easily remove them. By dragging the player head to the desired point, I can then click on the scissors icon to split the audio. This allows me to make precise adjustments as needed, such as deleting unwanted sections, shifting the audio, or even moving it to a different layer. The next step is to add the visuals. I'll be incorporating visuals from the stock videos library onto the timeline. My goal is to find good stock videos that align with the content of the voiceover. To do this, I'll simply hit the search button and look for the specific type of stock footage I want to use. Once I find a suitable clip, I can preview it and then click on add video to drop it onto the timeline. Here's a neat trick. I recommend selecting multiple clips at once and then deleting the ones you don't need. On the timeline, you have the flexibility to reposition, drag, trim, or even move individual clips to different layers. As the first major step in the production of this video, I'll add all the necessary clips that complement the voiceover. For now, I'll place them randomly on the timeline and arrange them properly later on during the editing process. I've added several clips to my timeline, and now it's time to organize them. Next, I'll arrange the clips in a way that makes sense for the video. This involves trimming down any clips that need to be shortened and repositioning the video clips at their correct positions on the timeline. I've done that, and all the clips are arranged properly, exactly as I want them to appear in the final composition. You can also upload your own files. I have some images of the subject that I downloaded from a public domain. To add them to my video, I'll head back to the media tool and click on, browse and upload to select the files from my computer. As you can see, these images will be placed on the timeline as overlays. I have the freedom to reposition each image, resize them, crop them, and even add effects and animations as needed. Adding animations and applying effects to any of the clips on the timeline is very simple. All you need to do is select the desired clip, and a range of options will appear. You will have access to various preset animations that can be applied to any clip. Additionally, you can make adjustments to the brightness, contrast, exposure, hue, and even apply video effects like sharpen, noise reduction, blur, 
and vignette. To enhance the visual aesthetics and overall feel of my video, I'm going to apply effects to some of the clips. For each of these overlay images, I'll also round the corners to add a nice touch. To go a step further, I'll apply animations such as slide and fade to bring these overlay images to life. Keep in mind that some animations may not play smoothly, or may buffer during the preview. But rest assured, once you export your final composition, you'll experience no lags or issues. Let's talk about adding text animations and motion graphics. There are several text motion graphics and animations to choose from, and the best part is that each of them can be fully customized to suit your needs. To add text motion graphics, all I need to do is drag the playhead to a specific point on the timeline and select one of the available text templates. From there, I can easily modify the text itself, change the font type and size, reposition it on the canvas, apply captivating animations, and even add text effects. Additionally, I have the option to customize the colors of the text and effects to match my desired style. To ensure the text appears at the right time, I'll trim it down to the correct duration on the timeline. I'm going to add more text motion graphics to enhance my video project further. Now, if you want captions for your video, Veed has the Auto Subtitles tool. Using advanced AI technology, it can automatically transcribe speech to text. You also have the option to manually transcribe or upload your own subtitles file if you prefer. To add automatic subtitles, all I need to do is select the AI voiceover that I previously created, and Veed will take care of the transcription process. In a matter of seconds to a few minutes, depending on the speech length, the AI will generate the subtitles and place them on the timeline. If I happen to spot any errors, I can easily make corrections to the subtitles. Moreover, the Styles or Options button allows me to apply effects such as font size, position, and animations, which would be applied to the entire set of subtitles. Similar to the text motion graphics, the Elements tool also offers a wide range of elements and graphics that you can incorporate into your video project if the need arises. You can customize these elements the way you like, by adjusting their colors, sizes, and even applying animations to them. For example, take a look at these sound wave graphics. They can be used to create cool sound spectrum animations that complement the voiceover or sounds in your video. Now, let's move on to the Transition tool. It allows you to add smooth transition effects between adjacent clips. All you have to do is click on the white squares located between the clips and choose from a list of available transitions. However, for this video project, I don't feel the need to use transitions. Before we proceed further, let's preview the work we've done so far. The seeds of AI were sown long before its term became a ubiquitous part of our vocabulary today. In the depths of history, where wires tangled and algorithms awaited discovery, a revolution was brewing. It was in the mid-20th century that the foundations were laid, as pioneers forged a path toward the future. Among these luminaries was Grace Hopper, a true visionary whose brilliance surpassed the confines of her time. Hopper's journey began during the turbulence of World War II when she served in the U.S. Navy. In the midst of the war effort, she became one of the first programmers of the Harvard... The final step involves some basic sound design using the audio tool. To find a suitable music track, I'll simply scroll down and listen to a few suggestions. Alternatively, I can use the search button to look for a specific type of music track that fits my video's vibe. I've found a music track that I really like, so I'll click on the plus button to add it. 
by default. The music track was added towards the end of my project because my playhead was positioned there. To adjust its placement, I'll simply drag it to the start of the video where I want it to begin. Additionally, I'll move the playhead to the end and delete the remaining portion of the track to the right. It's important to ensure that the volume of the background music doesn't overpower the voiceover. To further enhance the production, I'm going to add some sound effects. Similar to adding background music, I'll scroll down to the sound effects section and search for effects that complement the video. For example, I can look for a war sound effect to add intensity to this battlefield clip. If the sound effect exceeds its intended length, I can easily trim, split, or delete as needed. I'll also sprinkle in some other sound effects throughout the video. It's worth mentioning that you have the option to apply fade-in and fade-out effects to any audio clip, as well as modify their playback speeds to achieve the desired impact. When you're done with adding finishing touches, all that is left to do is click on the Done button at the top right and select Export Video. The export setting allows you to choose your export quality, and if you don't need the subtitles to be burned into the video, you can toggle this switch off. Click on Export Video to render your final composition and give it some time. You can then preview and download your video from this page. The description below this video contains a special link where you can visit the Veed website and sign up for a free account to try out these amazing features yourself and create something awesome. The Veed editor is packed with a wide range of features that you would typically find in most traditional editing software. It can be used for any media creation projects, and personally, one of the things I love about it is how quickly it renders and exports videos. Plus, you have access to millions of stock assets that you can use for any project you can imagine. Feel free to use the link below and give it a try. And thank you for sticking around till the end of the video, I really appreciate your time. If you enjoyed this content, YouTube believes that you'll also find value in watching this video showing on the screen. 